Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today guys, we're going to have another episode of my mail call video. Uh, you guys really enjoy this segment where I show you guys what I got in the mail, and it's going to be really fun to open up this weird packaging right here, but before I get started on today's mail call episode, I want to uh, say something that I've gotten to, I've heard people talk about down in the comments section before, and that is, uh, Seto, do you really trade cards in real life? You know, do you, you know get cards from your friends and buddies at your locals and at college or do you just buy all your cards online uh... the answer is pretty much i weigh my options um, that's the best way i can say it is sometimes i find it a lot cheaper to get the cards online than getting them from people in real life because they seem to value those cards a little bit more but sometimes it is better to get them in real life if i know the person and i can wheel and deal with them and you know, trade or uh, buy off them. So it just depends upon the situation. Uh, that's something that a sub fellow subscriber asked down below, and I want to clear that up uh, before I start today's episode, guys. So without further ado, let us get started on today's episode. And I can't wait to open up this funky. Package. So guys, let's get started here. So let's. Okay, so you tear this. Okay, that's how you open. It. Okay, that's easy. I thought this was the thing. Opening this thing was going to be like a pain in the butt. Okay, guys. So pretty much. Um, the main decks I want to build because I was looking at all the new different decks coming out in Duelist Alliance and the set after Duelist Alliance and Yang Zings I originally wanted to build but they're pretty high rarity and pretty expensive. Shadows I'm not too thrilled about Shadows. You know the only deck I really saw that was really cool to me was Ultra Athletes which look amazing. I got a free card. This is not a card I ordered, but I got it. <laughs> they gave me an extra card. Um, this I did not order. This is what is this card called? I got a free card. <laughs> it's a common, but uh, hey, I wish it was a blue eyes white dragon, right? Uh, or dark magician girl. But it says Diga Force Tribute One, level four or higher dinosaur monster. Dinosaur monster to special summon two level three or lower reptile monsters from your hand and or graveyard. I did not order this card. I got this card for free. Weird. Uh, the cards I did order though were two Mobius, the Frost Monarch. Um, pretty much what I was saying before I got surprised by a free card I did not order uh, was pretty much, excuse me, uh, I want to build Monarchs because they look like a fun deck. My friend played the deck, if you guys saw my deck profile of his deck a while back. And Monarchs, Dark Magician, a Dark Magician deck. I want to re-look into uh, building a Dark Magician deck because of the new Dark Magician support from Dragons of Legend. Uh, I, I tried my hand at building a Dark Magician deck, you know, back when uh, Spellbooks first came out, but... If you ever, if you did try building it with spell books originally, it just, uh, it just didn't work with the deck. So I want to re uh, look into that. Um, I want to also build raccoons. So raccoons, monarchs, and dark magician. Those are the three decks I want to work on um, in the coming future. Uh, I also maybe want to build the noble knight because the Noble Knight set and maybe a rank up Gear Gear deck because of the structure deck. But it is really not like anything out of a set that I'm looking into in, uh, into building except Ultra Athletes, which look, have an amazing field spell card. So two Mobius the Frost Monarch. These were pretty much a buck a piece. So, I mean, it wasn't too much. Also got three Ryza, uh, just gold series. I just wanted some hollow versions of the Monarchs. I didn't get no Mega Monarchs yet. I just wanted to start out with, you know, just play around with the Monarchs because I really haven't played with Monarchs since they originally were pretty much really popular popular in 2006, 2007, I would say. 2005, maybe. Um, back when they had the Frog Engine was like in its peak and prime and it was considered an amazing deck. But um, that was a long time ago. So pretty much what you're going to see in this profile is Monarchs and some other cool stuff I got but um that's it's one of the decks I'm working on currently so next I got three is this three yeah this is no this is some don't tell me I got another free card oh no 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 okay, okay. so we got three the monarchs erupt I just got this because this was like a, a 25 cent card 
and it's pretty much like skill drain. And I also got one Majesty's Fiend, uh, Majesty's Fiend, excuse me, because I like it. Um, because you pretty much your opponent's gonna have to waste resources to get around Majesty's Fiend, so I like that aspect of Majesty's Fiend, but I don't know if I'm gonna run them yet. And either way, I got them for a pretty dang good deal. Um, I think the two Majesty's I got one I got for. 14 bucks and the other one I got for 15 bucks. So there should be another Majesty's Fiend. So right now we got three Ryza, three Mobius, three Monarchs Erupt, and one Majesty's Fiend thus far. More Monarch support. Yeah, as you can tell, I really didn't know what to buy in the Monarch support, but it's pretty much all very cheap because they've been reprinted a thousand times. So I pretty much got gold rare stuff. So next up we got two the monarchs return which is pretty much their searcher and three Caius. Uh, just keep in mind I don't know how many of each monarch I'm gonna run but time will tell once I get some practicing in with the deck and believe me I looked around at my locals and I talked to some people when I went to Otakon to see if they had any monarch stuff and nobody had monarch stuff and if they had any monarch stuff they had majesty's fiend which they were appraising for 25 plus dollars and i was like no i'm gonna i can go online and buy it so while i was at oticon i just bought majesty's fiends <laughs> online next i got the escalation of the monarchs which is an amazing card i got three escalations of the monarchs very cheap card to get actually the most expensive card i think i got from this entire set next to majesty's fiend was this card which was about uh, oh, five bucks a piece, I think. And now we've come to the last thing. I wonder what the heck's in here. Oh, really? Well, at least they were nice. They taped the sides shut. And they really put some... Did they put... Dang, okay. See? When you work out, you don't have... You can easily open up things on camera. The first, you know, makes it a lot more easier. But... Like I said, you can look forward, guys, to the future Dark Magician deck. The Dark Magician deck I'm going to build, that's going to be just a fun deck uh, involving a lot of just fun cards. Oh, DNA Comics. This this, this place was at, um, oh, yeah. They were actually at Otakon this year. I remember that because I talked to a couple of the guys. DNA Comics. Uh, so the last card they got is Majesty's Fiend, and they taped Majesty's Fiend up like, I don't even think I can get it out without hurting the card. Um, hang on, this is going to be fun. This is like Operation, that game you used to play when you were little called Operation. Get the Majesty's Fiend out without ruining it. You know, destroying the card. Oh, dang, they taped it shut. I don't mind that they do that because they do it for, you know, so it doesn't get, you know, all destroyed and scratched up. But it's like scary when you're just trying to pick out the tape so it doesn't come out. Okay. Jeez, on my, I cut my nails last night, so that is why I don't have nails right now. So I'm just like picking at it. Where is... Got it. There we go. I had one nail left. Okay. Come on out, Majesty's Fiend. I'm here. There you are. So we got one Majesty's Fiend. They put it in a case to be nice. So we got two Majesty's Fiend. Pretty much this is our Monarch support. If you saw my... Uh, what I... The cool stuff I got at Otakon, pretty much raccoons, um, and Dark Magician deck I want to build too. Uh, maybe Noble Knights, depend upon the rest of the stuff they get, you know, out of the box, the box set if it's really good. But um, there's just really no archetype that's coming out per se that I really want to invest um, money in right now. I mean, the, you can play them competitively, but. When you've been playing the game as long as I have, you want to play a deck that you get more enjoyment out of than a deck that you're just going to win every game or every two games. It's it's more You get more enjoyment from just playing a deck that you like or enjoy thoroughly. So that is what I've pretty much done. I've pretty much gone to, from competitive player to a player that's pretty much, I guess you could say, more casual. I'm somewhere in the middle between competitive and casual, I guess you could say, nowadays. But I love enjoy doing these videos for you guys. And until next time, guys... Take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling to all of you, 
hope you guys enjoyed this video and look forward in the next month or so to seeing a Monarch deck on my channel of my own. I don't know how I'm going to build it yet. If you guys play Monarchs and you have any suggestions, if I should go with the Frog Engine or any other type of engine, uh, please let me know down in the comments below because I'm still playing around with the deck online. Um, like I said, when I got this stuff, it was just like a buck a piece for each Monarch, so it wasn't no skin off my back. But uh, till next time, guys, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, and I'll see you all next time. Seto Kaiba, I'm out of here, guys.